Hello and welcome to the Somerville Neighborhood News. I'm Fiona and this is Isa. We're here with Ken Carlson, the head of the Somerville Bike Committee. We're, he- we're going to be asking him a few questions about bike lanes and bike safety. What is your opinion on bike lanes and bike safety? Um, that's a pretty big question. Um, I'll try to answer it fairly shortly. So um, as part of the Somerville Bicycle Committee, our job is to try to keep bicyclists safe in Somerville. And we are trying to get more and more safe places for people to bike. So we think that bike lanes are a pretty good place for people to bike. The safest place would be what you guys said earlier when we were talking would be the community path is a really super safe place to bike. And we're all about trying to make um, the city as safe as possible for everybody who wants to bike. So we do a lot of bicycle education. We do a lot of planning on how to make safer streets and uh, a lot of outreach to people to try to keep them safe while they're biking. I think that there are a lot of different competing interests on the roads, pedestrians, cars, and even dogs and bikes. And I think it's hard for everybody's rights to be always respected. So sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. I think that bike lanes are better than nothing, but I actually think that in some places, especially on Massachusetts Avenue, bike lanes are uh, not safe for cyclists. So Beacon Street is the busiest bike route in the entire Boston metro region, not just Somerville, but any place in Boston. And we looked at Beacon Street a few years ago and said, we need to have protected bike lanes. And protected bike lanes are bike lanes that are almost like having a bike lane on the sidewalk. It's separated from moving cars by a curb, but it's separate from the sidewalk too. So it's a place for pedestrians. There's a very safe place for bicyclists, and then there's a place for cars. So, um, So we put forward the idea for the protected bike lanes on Beacon Street, and they are being built this year. We're really excited. Anybody who knows me knows that I bike a lot. Uh, I have a lot of different kinds of bicycles, and I try to ride my bike every single day. And I think that in a place like Somerville, where we have so much traffic and so much density, it's a great way to get around and get exercise. There's probably not a day during the year when I don't bike, um, unless it's a big snowstorm. Riding your bike is help you a lot, like I always say. You know, it makes your your blood circulation moving better, it makes you fit a little bit better. Bicycling can be safe, it is, um, if, um, it's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to get around the city, but I think everybody has to obey the laws, everybody has to be as careful as they can, motorists and bicyclists, and um, I think we all have to just get along really well together, and I think everybody will be safe. Usually we tell them about because there's a law, you have to wear a helmet. When you have a bike, you need a helmet. You need a light for the car to be able to see you and at night. And most of them, when you tell people that, it's for your own, it's for the own safety. My, my roommate, Amanda Phillips, was a uh, cyclist in Cambridge. Um, she got uh, hit by a car and died last June. Uh, she was riding her bike. She was wearing a helmet, um, and it was an accident where uh, nobody was really to blame except for the the bike lanes not protecting her. One friend of mine was killed last year uh, in a bike crash in Porter Square, uh, and he actually worked here at this company. So that was a very sad uh, moment for a lot of us, both here at this company, and he lived in Lexington, but he he biked through Cambridge and Somerville every day, and he was uh, run over by a truck at Porter Square. So in response to that, we started um, a fund in his name to, um, so we raised about $10,000, and we're trying to use that money to promote safety for truck drivers around bicyclists. The cycling community in Cambridge and Somerville really came together, and it was just... um amazing to see people sort of get outraged and take action about cyclist safety in the city. Our friend died in Porter Square and Amanda died, Amanda Phillips died in Inman Square all in about a four-month period, which was very kind of sad. But the sadness led to action, and I think the action is going to lead to safer streets. Try to educate everybody. We try to educate 
bicyclists, we try to educate pedestrians, we try to educate uh, motorists, people who drive. The slower cars go, the safer it is for pedestrians and the safer it is for bicyclists. So one is, please obey the speed limit. There are people, kids, people on bikes, people walking that we want to keep safe. In Europe, there's a thing called a Dutch reach where let's say I'm in the passenger side of the car, you want to open your door like it's more, uh, it maybe feels easier to open it with this uh, this arm, right? If you're sitting in the right hand side, but um, the Dutch reach is they always train people to open with the opposite arm, and that way you can see behind you, and that reaching you, uh, you sort of look over. Amanda was the kind of person that is not a dangerous person and not a risk taker and she was always the kind of person where if there was an emergency you would hope she was there and if it could happen to Amanda it could happen to anybody like um, sometimes I think we think that cyclists are like oh well they were going too fast they weren't looking you know like you should really be on the defensive if um if you're riding around in the city because it's a dangerous place, but really um, it's dangerous for everybody. Even if you're not being reckless on your bike, think bad things can happen like this at any time. And it's not any one individual's job to uh, make sure they don't happen. It's the job of the, the city because they're supposed to take care of the people that live there. We are Fiona Hanley, Issa Membrano Gomez, Maya Hanley, and Eleanor Bogosian. We were a part of the U News Youth Journalism April Vacation Camp. We went out to interview four people about bike lanes and bike safety. Thank you for your attention. Drive and ride safe on the busy roads. Try to be careful when opening your car door.